Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm not going to go directly talk to her just yet. I'm going to explore on my way there. So, as you can see here on the corner, there is stuff hidden absolutely everywhere here. And it's very difficult to remember where the poop everything is around here. <laughs> So I never mentioned these guys are the new donkers. You know, their official names, I guess you could say. Pauline, Mayor Pauline is the bee's knees. I wonder what she's up to now after the most recent excitement. We'll find out later. Good to see folks in the city looking chipper again. Indeedly do. Uh, I don't think there's any more... Uh, I mean, yeah, you can recollect those, I guess, if you haven't gotten them before, but... <laughs> well, I, I, I kind of have... A camera attached to my switch, but you know, you, 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 yeah, but details. That's that's that may be breaking the th well. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm breaking the fourth wall or never or something, but <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Every everyone else is doing it, so I might as well too. So there's a moon over there. You see that over there? What the poop? What the poop? Oh, <laughs> secret girder tunnel. I'm not sure if I could have gotten that before. I might have been able to, but I'm not. I don't know. I didn't hear the twinkle before, so I was just like, eh, eh. I don't know. I was gonna come back through here again, obviously. And now we're gonna hear the main music. Hey, how's it going? Good day, guys. <laughs> Checkpoints. And if you'd like to, you can take a big old peek see around the cities. And believe me when I say it. Every surface that you see here, you can get on top of. <laughs> in some way, somehow, there's even even a moon now, way, way on top of the tallest skyscraper. <laughs> so there's a lot and lot of stuff to explore. Cranky Avenue, Squawks Park, as I said, this place, big reference to Donkey Kong. <laughs> What's up? Everyone doing okay? Uh oh, seeds. That is never good. That is never good. Well, we need to know about a planting station. So there's a whole, whole dealio going on here. Oh, I'll never hit 30 jumps. Well, this is actually a little mini game here. <laughs> and it gets a little bit faster and faster and faster. Yeah, you gotta try and get up to 30. But really, you wanna hit 100 if at all possible. This is really annoying to get the hang of, actually. <laughs> but yet, at the same time, once you get it, you've got it. <laughs> also, you might want to shallow out your jump so that they're a little bit, a little bit lower than they typically would be. And I'm just gonna kind of let myself go nice and slow with the beat. I think I've actually got it already, but we'll see here in just a second. Oh, geez, they're getting faster. How much faster can it go? Actually, I think there's a max at like 50. Oh jeez, I'm getting lost in the shuffle. Okay, I, I offset the timing a little bit there. Just get the fear of them down and you should eventually reach 100. And hopefully I'll be able to get this on my first shot because it's, it's pretty annoying otherwise because it takes a while to actually get this sucker. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> But how long can I go? That is the question. I guess in theory I could make it to 999 if I'm feeling really, really rhythmic. Oh! Except if you do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, well, yeah, if you want to give it another shot, you can. But, uh, yeah, you gotta go back. And then they'll restart the rope jumping. And then you can go ahead and... Get yourself the first moon over here, and I also got the second moon <laughs> right off the bat. That is... Yeah, I didn't think I'd get that, but I guess I got down the muscle memory from all the times I ended up playing this. Rankings board allows you to see records from other players worldwide and share your own if you participate in the Rankings board. Game stats as well, your nickname will be published in the game. Eh, yeah, sure, let's see what people have got. They probably got 999. <laughs> Probably. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they reset the board, actually, um, at one point in time. Can I, like... Who's number... Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 99,999. Yeah, there was a glitch that was going on with this in that there was a... 
And, well, I can't show it now because they patched it, but what you could do is you would be able to actually get out of the circle while floating due to a parrot glitch. And I, I, I completely forgot how it was done at this point. And then you're able to just move outside the circle and then just let them do their thing and let it count up to the maximum number. And then it was it was basically cheating, so... <laughs> hmm. Mama always said, go play outside. Is that your only lyrics? It sure sounds like it. <laughs> Under construction? Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, stuff in this city becomes more constructed as you go throughout the game, basically. So there's only so and so much that I can do at this moment in time. Like, for instance, it's a car with one of those pumpers on top. <laughs> And this is one of the things we could do right now. Oh no! <laughs> We've returned to first-person shooter town. Well, third-person shooter town. All right, it's on, baby. <laughs> anyway, let's shoot things all around here. Yeah. Oh geez, I'm a oh no, I'm in tablet mode again. Feel I'm in tablet feel mode again. Okay, yeah, I'm just I don't know. I'm so used to playing in tablet mode recently when I'm just like hanging around. And I'm just like oh. Oh, oh, and then I'm, I automatically put my fists up to the screen like I'm gonna punch it or something. <laughs> I probably should shoot from a nice safe high ground-ish, just to make sure that I'm nice and good. Oh, we're okay. But yeah, so we're looking for moon shards around here, and I guess I guess I can kill you off ahead of time. Sure, why not? So yeah, um, I think there's also another moon hidden somewhere around here, and yes, this is the same awesome music from before, and no, despite how it looks, you cannot squeeze in there with the tank. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna go up before I go to the left, because I think the left is actually the exit. Well, I guess it's now directly behind us, but details. This will make us a little bridge up to the top, but I'm gonna actually break some stuff here first. Yeah, I'll just kind of leave that there, and now we can go up and around. Behold the shiny spots! That of course means ground pound, but uh, there's also another hard to get shiny spot up there, and that is where moon number two is. How, how, does, how do they even work there? <laughs> anyway, no, 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 nope, nope. Uh -huh. Uh, well, I guess you're not really in my way, but I'll just, I'll just shoot bullets your way just because. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess I'll focus on the shards at the moment. This is number four. I think the, hmm, yeah, the, see the exit is another one of those sorts of things, and your hint to get across this is these blocks here, yeah. And you could sometimes get a hint by that tank as you've seen there. So, yeah, that's how I initially figured this out. I could have swore there was something over here. Hello? Hear that? Hmm, or maybe it was... I don't know. Or maybe... Oh, it's, oh, it's just because I'm, I'm revealing the blocks, my bad. <laughs> I think the last moon shard is actually, yeah, inside those girders. Uh, maybe this isn't the one that I'm thinking of that had uh, a moon up here. Hmm... You'll, you'll know what I mean by that when I... When I get back to something like this later, but yeah, I think I think that tweakly sound was indeed these blocks here. Well, okay, I'll assume that I'm cleared out of moons. Well, maybe aside from you know this one over here. But how did I get inside that one over there? I forgot. I know I say I forgot a lot, but still, but still, wasn't it like down? Mm, I'm gonna have to do like jumps across into the girders through this way, maybe? Perhaps? Uh, hmm. Oh, it wasn't in the girders, it was under the girders. Okay. One, two, three, bunk! Uh, uh, mm. Hmm. Okay, how did I get that before? <laughs> did I shoot at it with the tank? No, I don't think that would work, actually. <laughs> uh. Let's take a look-see around here. Not like I have any other choice but to look-see around here. <laughs> I guess I could try shooting at it with a tank. Just, just seeing here. Just, does it work? It does work. So I guess that was how I got it before. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. 
I'll take any moon, after all, it's one for 100%. <laughs> Thanks for giving me those coins, mister. And... Moon shards under siege. So I guess I could have gotten a, virtually any tank. And... We're off! <laughs> Even though you just hold up to move the control stick, you don't actually turn, it just turns automatically for you. You can take off these posters, but you know, I'm not sure why you'd want to. Because they're not like Bowser posters or anything like that. And directly across from the car that you can take over is this place. Guess what we're doing? 8 bit time! <laughs> Try and get them on the way down from your jump like that. There you go. And then follow the path, go around, just one jump it, and also I might as well, as long as I'm here, go back into the background. Ooh, good jumping, good jumping, and collect the rest of the notes in an even fashion. There we go. Not hard, not hard. So we're gonna go up through here, and we're gonna go grab this. Taking notes in the private room. That didn't seem very private. The door was open. <laughs> and unfortunately, you cannot plug in any of your devices over here. That, that that wall outlet there is inaccessible. It's all plugged up. And yeah, yeah, I know. You're gonna have to charge elsewhere. So can I open? No, it, was, it wasn't this. There was other things that I could open around these parts. Anyway, it's not a. Oh, I thought that was like a multi-bounce block. How are my kids so good at this? Well, let's find out, shall we? <laughs> so now we can go ahead and go and drive her. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Yeah, you go back and forth with one side, and then you steer with the other side. It literally is just like the ye old remote control car controls. And when you're about over here, you kind of want to get yourself into a decent position because it's kind of hard to turn yourself around without having this little corner here. So just kind of kind of get yourself around here. There we go. Can I get... Oh yeah, I can't get inside the box unless it's inside the front. That's right, you sneaky, sneaky snake. And no, wait, 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 oh shoot, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, yeah, we got it, <laughs> how did that moon get over there, anyway, remotely captured car, we're good, and he's like, what, what, what happened, what, what, how, how, and then this opens up, and he's like, I feel the spirit of remote control in you, step right in, oh yeah, I probably should have spoke to him first to get new dialogue, rat, a rat, you come back here! You got. I killed it! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I wanted to capture it. But yeah, after you do that, then this opens up and we got a much, much harder remote control course! <laughs> I don't see how it's even possible to get under 30 seconds. Well, there, that guy couldn't get 30 jumps, so... And we got 100, so... Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be... Uh, yeah, this, guess who we're gonna take over. <laughs> All right, prepare yourself and just hold up the whole way and just steer. You just want to get the feel of that, just holding up the whole way. And yes, we got Mario Kart SNES music going on here. And yeah, the idea of this is to just get the hang of steering as smoothly as possible, not bumping into things while going at maximum speed. So this is actually, in, in a way, less complicated than trying to get that moon under that cage. But in another way, it's very easy to bump into stuff, so... <laughs> well, I got it! <laughs> Success! Woo! That was actually a pretty decent time. <laughs> I'm sure people worldwide have really refined that. Oh, I didn't want gra to grab onto that just yet. I, I mean, sure, I want to jump onto the winner's podium and be like, Yeah! I did it! I did it! But, you know... I wanted to get that moon first. Sure, let's see the rankings at this moment in time. They're probably like maxed out at absolute perfect scores. Whoops, no, no, no. Dr. Dorito, what the poop. <laughs> anyway, let's see who we got here. Ninth. Okay, those two are suspiciously faster than th the third place plan. Um, hmm. I wonder if someone discovered a glitch fairly recently. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, let's get out of here since this is now nicely cleared out. 
and continue going around the side of the building. Like, do you have anything else to say now that I cleared that? Nah, I guess not. Wait, wait, what about the other guys? Probably not. Because... Uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna come here to lay awake at night wondering who won. <laughs> I guess there's new dialogue. This, I don't know, it seemed like a one-player game if you ask me. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Well, those are the coins that I got way, 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 way early into things. Uh, so I guess I can now go down this alley and head on over to the Crazy Cap Shop. I, I regret not coming here the first time because there might have been different dialogue. I suppose I could just start a new save file and rush through things and then come back here and see things. But uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in any case, I'm, I'm definitely going for the Power Moon first, as you would expect. So, there we go. Grab that. And I guess I'll get the other clothing as well to get all spiffy for the city. Being an aviator probably, probably doesn't fit this place as much as the fedora as well as the suit. So, we might as well just go ahead and put those bad boys on right away, right now, and call it a day. Well, at, at least with this part, portion of the shop. You see, there's another portion of the shop. Wait, wait, what? This is one of my favorite places. If you go over here, yeah, it's, a, it's, like, the, it's like the home base of Crazy Cap over here. And we got a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna save this, obviously. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and if you go out this door, you actually go out the other door. Yeah, there's two doors, yeah. <laughs> it's the absolute biggest crazy cap star in all the lands, because it's the home base. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if I even need to bother going across there again, or at least right now. What I can do is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't miss that. Come on now. Come on, who do you take me for? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Cans! Yes! I love kicking the cans! Woo! But not kicking the bucket, of course. If you want to go over here? Sure, you can. There's, there's a moon over here. Sure! That's a pretty sneaky move, but you can go out here outside the rotating maze. Why not? That's the only way to get that moon, by the way. <laughs> but as for actually going through here, well, we got ourselves a puzzle. Uh huh. Well, it's not that much of a puzzle, I guess, but actually, I should probably focus on one side at a time here. Anything around that? Well, there is. Oh, see, it moves with. The device, but if you go around here, you just kind of skip around. There you go. <laughs> I'll just kind of go around you, Venus fire traps, and I'll do the same thing with this. Oh, actually, whoops, I went in the wrong side to do that. Dang it! And all its glory. Okay. Oh, I didn't kick the cans up on top. Sad face. Sad face. Um. Well, I guess I'll. For kicks. <laughs> Grab this. Where was the last one though? I kind of forgot. Mm, mm, oh. <laughs> the last place I didn't look, of course. <laughs> and there's a shard. Yeah. All five. And let's get out of here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Give me my hat back. <laughs> and anyway. Oh uh, yeah, that, that was the I don't know why I decided to hit my hat there. Hold on, hold on. We're not we're not done here just yet. Kick can okay. <laughs> we're, now we're done here. Let's grab that. And inside the rotating maze is good to go. Broop. Only three moons to go already. By the way, that one extra moon that I had at the very start of that, that was when I went through the painting, if I didn't mention that before. But anyway, uh, we've seen pur- I didn't mean to do that. We've seen purple coins on top of- well, I should say behind these buildings here. So we should probably go ahead and explore around this really, really quick, if you don't mind. There's a couple of ways to get around these parts. You can either use this, the power lines, or you can use the poles, or you can hop around. It's all up to you. But first, those coins. <laughs> oh, camera, don't, don't mess with me there. I almost just ran off the edge. 
Um, and there's something inside those trash bags. Who would throw away such treasures like this? Who would throw away this moon? I don't know. Actually, it looked like it was in the <laughs> in the vent. Yeah, who piled the garbage in this fight? I just figured it'd be funnier if I said it that way. <laughs> Uh, isn't there some on the billboards around here too? Like that you can hang on top of? Cans! Cans! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought there was more purple coins around these particular billboards, but maybe not. Oh yeah, there were! There were! <laughs> yes! Yes! Cans! And we're off. Now there's a place that you can put a seed. Uh. Grab those, and I guess I could grab a seed. I don't know. I don't know. Seems like it's kind of out of my way. <sighs> oh, actually, um, yeah, there's a planting spot here. I forgot about that. Then there's one really, really at an awkward place. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for blocking your way there, man. I've got to seed the plants. This is very important. <laughs> I'll come back for that later, and. I gotta get back up there without using the power lines or anything like that, which is uh, kind of a kind of a way that I showed you how to get up there before, didn't I? You know, using the boxes and the springy thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the poop? What the poop? Did I did I just co collapse the rat again or something? No, no, no! I want to go one one higher. I maybe it's not this one, <laughs> or maybe I have to get up on another side. Yeah, it looks like I have to get up on another side. Let's try. Uh, is there not another set of veranda around here, or do I have to use the scaffolding? Mm, I know I could jump on the cars and get a bounce, but is that enough to actually get up to... Yes, they squeak like a chew toy. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna break that crate. And there we go. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the way to do it, I guess. And I'll get that moon all nice and growing. And I think this portion is... Oh yeah, those those coins up there. As I say, this portion is pretty well cleared out, but... Hmm, can I get over to those coins for the sake of sakes? Maybe. <laughs> that looks a little, a little treacherous here, but... Yet, you can actually walk on these without falling through them. Can you believe that? I know, I know! It only looks treacherous, but it's actually not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think this is pretty well cleared out at this particular junction. So, with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my exploration of New Dong City. I told you this place is big and there's a lot to see and get and stuff like that. We've only done a very, very small chunk of this place so far. I'm getting dizzy.